Well, welcome back to Algebra 1. We've learned how to solve our first equations, you know, and we're going to go into more complicated equations as we go down the road here. And in this lesson, we want to talk about what do you do when you have an equation that involves an absolute value. It's one of those things that trips up a lot of students, and you'll get it on a test sooner or later. So what if you have an equation like absolute value of z plus 10 uh, is equal to 28? Now we'll take a simple one at first. You want to get z by himself. That's what you really want to do to solve for what z is. But you have this plus 10 here, so we're going to do the same thing we always do. We'll subtract 10 from both sides. So we'll have the plus 10 minus 10, and then we'll have the 28 minus 10. So on the left hand side, the 10's go away, giving you 0. So you have absolute value of z is equal to, what is 28 minus 10? It's a straight subtraction, that's just going to be 18. Now, a lot of students don't know what to do when you hit this point. Now, this is not saying that z is equal to 18, okay? If the absolute value bars were not here, then yeah, you've finished the problem. But what it's saying is that the absolute value of z is 18. And if you remember back, I'll do a quick little review. If you remember back, the absolute value of 3, we said, was 3. And if you don't remember this stuff, go back to the section on absolute value and, and watch that. The absolute value of negative 3 is what? positive 3. The absolute value of negative 17 is 17. The absolute value of 24 is 24. What do you do when you see this absolute value sign? Basically what you do is you take away the sign, throw it away in the trash can, and the answer is just whatever the number is without the sign. If it's a positive number, the answer is just the number. If it's the absolute value of a negative number, the, um, you just get the number back without the sign. So what this is basically saying is when you have an absolute value here, there are really two values that will work for z. <clears throat> and I'll just write them down. z 